I switched on the television and started flicking through the channels to see what was on, but there was nothing that looked interesting. Oh well, I guess it's gonna be another boring night sitting in on my own. Bang, bang, bang. The loud hammering on the door almost made me jump out of my skin. Open up, open up. I stood up and was about to go and open the door, but before I had a chance, there was a loud crash and the door burst open. I stood in shock as four big policemen came flying through. You're under arrest. Wait, what? What for? For murder. You're probably thinking that what you've just heard is the biggest shock in this story, but you would be wrong. You won't believe what I'm going to tell you at the end of this story. It all started a few years ago. I'd been down on my luck and one thing led to another and I found myself living on the streets. I was homeless and to be honest, my life was pretty miserable until one day when it all changed. I was standing on a street corner begging for a few dollars to pay for some food when a woman approached me. Hello, do you need money? Yes, yes I do. Can you spare a dollar or two please? Oh, I think I can do better than that. How does $10 million sound? What? You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. In fact, I'm deadly serious. I will give you $10 million, but you will need to do something for me. What? I am a cosmic surgeon. I want you to let me perform facial surgery on you. Is that all? Yes, that's all. I didn't have to think about it at all. I'd never thought of myself as particularly good looking, so I had no problem with having my face altered. Okay, I'll do it. It's a deal. The woman handed me a card with the address of a clinic on it. Come to this clinic on Monday at 11 a.m. I will meet you there and we will do the operation straight away. I took the card and looked at the address. It wasn't that far from where we were. Okay, I'll be there. The woman didn't say another word. She just turned around and walked off in the other direction. I stood staring at the card. Is this for real? Is she really going to perform surgery and give me $10 million? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. On Monday morning, I woke up early. Even though I felt sure that it was all a joke, I decided that I would go along to the clinic just in case. I arrived there just before 11 and was surprised to see the woman standing outside waiting for me. Good, you're on time. Our nurse will get you prepared for surgery. Follow me. I walked into the clinic and followed a nurse to a room at the back. I was so nervous. My heart was beating like crazy. It's not dangerous, this surgery, is it? The nurse smiled at me. Don't worry, everything will be fine. The surgeon is very experienced. She is one of the best. The nurse gave me an injection. My eyes started feeling heavy and I went to sleep. When I woke up from the surgery, I was scared. What if I look like a monster or something? The nurse came into the room and handed me a mirror. I took a deep breath and looked at my new face. I was so happy. Oh my God, I'm so handsome. I can't believe it. Yes, I did my best work. I think you look fantastic and here is your money, just like we agreed. I couldn't believe my luck. Not only had I got a new handsome face, but I was a millionaire too. It was like some kind of dream. The first thing I did was to buy a huge mansion. I had everything that I had always wanted and I didn't forget my friends on the street. Just because I had money, I wasn't gonna forget what it was like to be homeless. I had been out all day and was looking forward to a quiet night in front of the television, but it wasn't to be. I just sat down when I heard an almighty banging at the front door. Who on earth is that? I didn't have long to wait. The door came crashing open and four big policemen piled into my house. You're under arrest. Wait, what? For what? For murder. What are you talking about? I haven't murdered anyone. You've got the wrong guy. Don't try to deny it, Mark. We've got you fair and square. Wait, Mark? Who's Mark? But it didn't matter how much I protested. They didn't want to listen to me. They put handcuffs on me and marched me out of the house to their car outside. When we got down to the station, they put me into a cell and locked the door. Wait, you have to believe me. You've got the wrong person. This isn't my real face. Someone made me look like this. But the police didn't believe me. The next day, I was transferred to prison. I tried to call the surgeon that had performed my surgery, but she didn't answer her phone. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to spend the rest of my life in prison for something I didn't do. But luckily, my friends on the street knew I wasn't capable of murder. They decided they were going to help me. They took a photo to the police, which showed a scar that I have on my hand. When the police saw it, they began to think that maybe I was telling the truth. They knew that the guy who they were after didn't have that scar. Okay, we will do a DNA test and see what the results say. I was so happy that I was going to get the chance to prove my innocence. When the DNA test came back, it showed that I wasn't the guy they were looking for. I was so relieved. We'll need you to give us all the information you have about the woman who performed the surgery on you. 
Of course, yes, I'll do anything to help. I told them all about meeting the woman on the street and her offering to pay me $10 million to let her perform the surgery on me. There's definitely something suspicious going on here. It seems that the surgeon gave you the face of a murderer, but don't worry, we will get to the bottom of it. Now you're free to go. Thank you. I was so happy to get out of that prison. When I got home, I sat down in the lounge and breathed a sigh of relief. I'm so happy it's all over. Suddenly, I heard a noise outside in the hallway. Oh my god, there's someone in the house. An intruder. I picked up a bat and crept toward the door. But before I had a chance to do anything, the door opened and I was shocked to see the surgeon standing there. You, what are you doing here? I think you owe me an explanation. Whose face did you give me? I gave you the face of my brother. Your brother? Yes. But why? Because I wanted my brother to be able to get a new face and to be able to live freely. I was so angry. This woman had nearly cost me my freedom. You're crazy. You can't mess with people's lives like that. I lunged at her and we started fighting. Suddenly, I felt her fist land hard on my chin and everything went black. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. I blinked my eyes and looked around. All my friends from the street were in my room watching over me. What happened? How did I get here? You were fighting with the surgeon and got knocked unconscious. But how did you find me? We didn't. The police did. They had installed secret security cameras in your home and saw everything that happened. As soon as they saw the surgeon was at your house, they sent out a patrol car to help you. They arrived just as the surgeon knocked you out cold. They arrested her and took you to the hospital. Well, thank God she's been arrested. But what about her brother? He has a new face. He could be anyone, anywhere. What if he comes and tries to attack me? What will I do? What if he wants revenge for me getting his sister arrested? I was starting to find it difficult to breathe and alarms started blaring. The doors opened and the doctor came rushing in. Out, out all of you, he needs to rest. My friends left and the doctor told me to rest. I lay back on my bed and was about to close my eyes when I saw my friend Jared was still in the room. Jared, I'm fine, you can go. You don't need to worry about me. But instead of Jared smiling and wishing me well, he suddenly sprang at me and started hitting and kicking me. Jared, stop, what are you doing? I was so confused, what was going on? Why would Jared want to hurt me? And then it dawned on me. My heart sank and fear rose up in my chest. Oh my gosh, no, please don't tell me. You're the surgeon's brother, aren't you? Jared didn't answer, he didn't have to. I could see by the guilty look on his face that what I had said was correct. Help, help, someone help me! The door opened and my other street friends came flying in. They dragged Jared off me and pushed him to the ground. One of them sat on him while the others grabbed a bed sheet and tied his hands behind his back. Thank God you came back. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't. When we realized Jared had stayed behind, we wondered what he was up to. He is new on the street and has always been a bit strange. Not really one of us, you know. He's definitely not one of you. He's the surgeon's brother. He's the murderer the police are looking for. My friends all looked shocked when they heard what I said. I think we'd better call the police, don't you? One of my friends made the call and within five minutes, the police had arrived and arrested Jared. Good work, lads. We've been hunting this guy for years. Now with your help, he'll be going to prison for a very, very long time. I finally felt that I could relax. Both the surgeon and her brother were safely behind bars. Who would have thought that one decision could lead to such a crazy adventure? But one thing for sure, I've definitely had enough excitement to last me a lifetime. No more crazy adventures for me.